graveyard in China. Abandoned cars, over 10,000. China, 90% of the EV manufacturing may face bankruptcy. 100 brands may disappear. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not concerned about that right there. What I need you guys to understand is they talk about there is a there was a car shortage. No, there wasn't. They say there's not enough electric vehicles. <laughs> They're lying. These are all electric vehicles, people. Over 10,000 of them uh, just in this field right here. So let's, we're going to go here because I'm going to let him, I got to be careful because some of the people who talk about this, this is a year ago talking about that, and this is a $350,000 so-called car. Ladies and gentlemen, you all need to understand this junk, it's all junk. None of it is valuable. When you, there's a video I just downloaded, um, and I just sent it to some people. Uh, the video I just downloaded, ladies and gentlemen, that video talks about this, this field right here, and I think this might be the video. Gotta watch because he curses. Give it a second. I'm going to let him talk. Not all the way. Yeah, yeah this is it. This is a field of over 10,000 Neta V Chinese EV cars that are rotting away. I'm going to pause him just for a second. Okay. I said pause. They don't see, he don't understand me because he doesn't speak, so he doesn't understand me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is only one field of cars. There are way too many fields of cars in China. And he goes on to explain in this video, China is throwing away fields of electric cars. It's not just cars. He goes on to explain to you about the now let's see if he does it here because I don't know who that is. Oh, this is a, it's the same guy, but it's a different video because the video I just watched is a shorter video. This is a nine minute video. Hey, homie, what you trying to do to me? Hold on, let's see if we can find the part. Dag nabbit. I should have left it open, but I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Okay, he goes, This is this is one thing right here. These are all of those, you remember those bikes? Those rideshare bikes? That's what this is. So these are all, these these are, these, 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 these are piles and piles. Let them talk about it. Hold on. All of these bike companies pretty much shut down except for two. And a lot of the oh, I'm people sorry. These that are started plants. these bike these companies bikes. ran See? away with bikes. investment money. Bikes. Never to be seen again. The bicycle... Okay, stop it. Looks like flowers, don't they? They look like trees, don't they? Well, they're not. These are those bikes that you were seeing in downtown areas where people were paying to rent a bike. Remember that trend? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please understand. When you hear about there's a shortage, that's a lie. That's why China, pay attention. Those cars are not going to sit there for long. Pay attention, everybody. That's why China and Russia are working out a deal. They're going to, this is ambitious on their part. I can see what they're doing. They're making promises and deals with these other countries. They're going to give them cars, electric cars. They're going to bring them into the United States. No, no, not into the United States, like into past the border. No, into the era of what the United States is doing. They're going to modernize them. So you're going to hear about all these other countries having these electric vehicles. They're going to help create the infrastructure. That's how they're able to put bricks together. Go ahead. I guarantee you that they're making a lot of promises because remember, they have built entire cities in Africa where nobody's living. They built entire cities in China where nobody's living. They put elevators and everything in these cities and there's no electricity because all they do is bring in the solar panels and make it a solar city. That's what China's doing. That's how they're going to win over the world by modernizing the third world countries. And there's nothing the United States can do about it. 
They've been making, now apparently right now they're supposedly making a deal with Cuba, Cuba, Cuba. <sighs> I can't tell you about that because the reports are they are doing it and China's saying we're not doing it. Cuba has not said anything about it. But if they are trying to modernize Cuba, didn't we go through this already in the 70s? Well, the United States can't stop them. See, that's the problem. The, the so-called Cold War and that, that so-called Cuban Missile Crisis, ladies and gentlemen, that was all a joke. That was all a joke. The United States couldn't stop Russia from going into Cuba. Remember, there's an embargo against Cuba for them aligning themselves with Russia. Cuba is still communist. There's an embargo against Cuba because they aligned themselves with Russia. They're still communist. And so China is saying, oh no, we're going to invest in Cuba. Stop us if you want. Same thing in South America. Now, I'm not, I'm not a fan of China. I'm not a fan of the United States. I'm not a fan of none of these countries. Because they're all in opposition to the country, the land, the nation, the world, the universe, the existence that my God controls. Well, why ain't he doing it? Because he's allowing this. The same as a parent. You know, you guys, as parents, many of you, you sat back there and allowed your children to go through, you know, some stupid mistakes. So that they could learn their lesson. Well, he's not allowing them to go through this so that they can learn their lesson. He's allowing them to go through this because man has said we can take care of ourselves. We don't need your help. That's what Adam and Eve said. He says the day you eat from that tree, you positively die. And Adam and Eve said, well, we're going to eat from the tree. We know better. You can't tell us what to do. Just like children. Where do you think we get it from? I know you never thought about it like that, but that's exactly what they said. I'm grown. I know what I'm doing. You can't tell me what to do no more. That's what they said. And so they ate. They didn't ask for permission. They just ate and just kept eating and eating and eating. They knew he was watching and they ate right in front of them. That's like your kid coming. You tell them don't eat my cake. And you come home and they got the spoon in their hand. They haven't touched it yet, but then they dig into the cake and they start eating it while you're looking at them. That's what Adam and Eve did. Ladies and gentlemen, China, with all of these EV cars just sitting in the field, we think that it's a waste. Please, they will take these vehicles and they will make more. Or they will sell them to a third, third world country. Because, sorry, she, uh, I sent her something in, so a friend of mine speak to you later let's get rid of you all right well anyway ladies and gentlemen this is done to shock us that they have all of these bikes just sitting here rotting because the united states has a trade war going on with china do you not know that china would flood the united states with these electric cars just to get rid of tesla all of you will be driving an electric car tomorrow made from china just so that they can move Tesla on out of the way. And so the United States has worked out certain things to keep China from bringing in the cheap material. Do you not know that that's what Trump and everybody was doing, talking about make America great again? That's not making America great again. That's keeping the rich rich and you poor. I, I don't, don't even think about it. The fact that the cheaper goods are not being brought in is because the billionaire corporations have been complaining. See, the mom and pop stores... They were able to sell their goods to you and make a profit because they were cheaper to buy. Now that they're not cheaper to buy, now that they're more expensive, and then they got to take care of labor costs, ladies and gentlemen, that drives prices up. That causes inflation. But they know that. It's an economic model. It's called supply and demand. The less the supply, the greater the demand. Did you not see it, experience it during COVID? That everybody's, God, I can't wear the toilet paper at! How come y'all didn't tell me we were the toilet paper? I apologize. Um, there is something I must do because you guys are hearing feedback on the microphone, so I got to turn the volume down a little bit. But anyway, y'all know y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. Matter of fact, I got to adjust the microphone another way too, so that we can get rid of the feedback.
because there, there are things that I can do. Oh, I opened the wrong one. Oh, snipe. I got to open this one. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is China. It's not a waste. They can afford it. What, what, what do I mean that they can afford it? Well, what I mean by they can afford it, they have the population to just push this stuff out. And then the workout deals with, that's what I got to do right there. And take that one right there. Take that if you do, if you don't, if you dare. <laughs> anyway. Ladies and gentlemen. Hundreds of thousands of electric vehicles are just sitting in fields. You look at, listen to the report. Many of those cars only have like 34 miles on them. No, seriously. Many of those cars you saw here at the very beginning of this film. Remember those bikes that you just saw? They've never been driven before. These are all brand new. They have registration, license plates and everything, but they've never been driven. No more than 38 miles. Why? Because sales, you see, they're part of the World Trade Organization. And so it's all about sales. Who has the most sales? So because these all have registrations on them, they can now show that they've outpaced Tesla in sales because they could literally record these all as sales. It's not illegal for them to do that. That's 100% legal what they're doing. Let me show you. Let me prove to you that that's 100% legal. There was this artist, formerly known as, whose name was Prince, Rogers Nelson. And Prince had a concert. Prince had a concert and he had, I believe the album was Lotus Flower. And at this concert, he had an album, Lotus Flower. Like I said, I believe it was Lotus Flower. And what Prince did, or was it Sign of the Times? I believe it was, it was one of the two. But at this concert that Prince had, Prince gave away to every ticket purchaser a free CD of his album. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that boosts his album sales because he gave it away uh, as part of the ticket price. And so that counted as a sale. Well, China's doing the same thing, but they're not giving the vehicles away. They're just registering it because the companies are recording it as a sale. And they're registering it because they're selling it to another company. And then they're, the companies are taking it and parking it here because they don't need them. This will flood and oversaturate the market so they can't use them. But the problem is they're going to want to get top dollar for these. But they can't do that because no other company, no other country, no other place is going to buy these because they don't have the infrastructure to recharge electric vehicles. Well, why don't they sell them at a discount? Well, they can't do that because, again, they count sales. They sell them at a discount. Well, they only sell them for blah, blah, blah. No, they sell them at a discount and then it hurts their world image. They can sell it to the people in China, the companies in China, and they can give themselves a discount by giving them a tax write-off. Do you understand? So they can sell them for full price, and then they give the company that produced them, because it's helping the nation, a tax write-off. So if these were all going for $40,000, then that's what they sell them for. And then the government will write it off. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was interesting. So take a look at these videos. I just put uh, automobile graveyards, but you better believe there are a couple of manufactured graveyards in China. Not just cars, but just about everything you can think of. I guarantee you computers, houses, everything you can, th yes, houses, boats, Cars, I guarantee you, everything you can think of, there's a graveyard in China for it where there are hundreds of thousands of whatever it is. Because of this capitalist society that we have here and the World Trade Organization promotes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, under 15 minutes, there you go. China's graveyard. Gotta go.